Hey everyone, it's Tim Holtz and I'm here at Sizzix headquarters and I am so excited to introduce you to the chapter one release for 2019. Now there are so many great designs. You can see a variety of every style and, and kind of look and feel for any of your creative make. But I wanna share this in a series of three different videos and really bring to life these dyes and show some inspiration. So let's get started. The whole thing when it comes to dyes is just seeing their full potential brought to life anything from a card to home decor. And you can see here in this Geo Springtime, this wonderful little detailed design you can use as a main element on a card, but you can see the real thin intricate lines of this thinlet. So amazing that not only can you have it as a solid back, but take a look at this card where you can take that die and actually float that onto a piece of acetate to really see that transparency and highlight the background below. I think that these dies are so cool because you really get a lot to, I don't know, kind of create your own personal style on things. Now take a look at this little Geo Springtime rabbit. Very cool, but take a look at this. This was cut out, because remember when you cut out a shape, not only do you get the detail line, but you're going to get that negative space. And here on the card when I open it up, you can see that this is layered over a piece of vellum. So it really allows your card to have that cool translucent aesthetic, but also have that detailed design of the element. Now, if you're an inker or mixed media, take a look at that where you can take your colorful background, die cut that geo and embed it into that opening. And this really gives it a very cool kind of stained glass look. I just, I love the look of that design. So much detail in here. Now, the nice thing about having a geo pattern, of course, is coordinating with any of your favorite textures or backgrounds for a perfect geometric pattern. And that, I think, is some of the benefits of having these outline or very strong element items. I think you're just gonna love this die set. Very cool. Now, another thing that's very cool and kind of geometric, if you will, is the faceted heart. Now, take a look at this. There are two sizes. So this is the large. Now, both sizes are in the same die set, but what it does, it is designed to cut and score, allowing you to create a three-dimensional faceted heart. Can you see that? Look at that. And you can do this out of your favorite papers, whether you're doing inked backgrounds, whether it's going to be glitter paper, anything. This is simply paired over an embossed background. Such a beautiful card. Now, I mentioned two sizes. So this is the smaller faceted heart that's also included. But look at that. Just doing different watercolor backgrounds and cutting that heart and pairing them onto a card. So cool. But look at the dimension of that. Isn't that great? Really, really simple to fold up and create some dimensional elements. Now, of course, depending on how you uh, choose your aesthetic style, this is what I love about die cuts, right? You can be colorful, you can do watercolor, or you can cross over to the dark side and really get your grunge on. And take a look at this. This is simply taking that cardstock, using your favorite inks to create that rustic effect. I love the idea of the detail of adding brads or little paper fasteners and of course using gears as the background but how cool is that to take that colorful heart that you saw in the first couple of projects and really give it a steampunk vibe i love it now another nice thing is of course using something dimensional for your mixed media projects and so whether you wanted to incorporate with a photo or paper doll i really like that something uh, as solid as this really provides a nice foundation to add again another element and you can see here that this one also has a very industrial look to it by just taking some metallic cardstocks and of course using your favorite embossing folder to give it some texture. Really awesome. Now the nice thing about having a dimensional die of course is that well we can do other things with it and that is we can use it as a vessel to hold things like these little flowers and I love the fact that this faceted heart was turned into a pocket and put into a frame. Perfect for a home decor element or again, anything mixed media. And just take a look at that metallic paper, just how that shines and those facets really cast the light off beautifully. Awesome, awesome projects. I love all these ideas. To me, that is what's more rewarding when it comes to being a designer is just seeing all of these projects made from very talented makers really kind of see that vision brought to life. So let's take a look. I'm gonna jump back over here now. Of course, if you're a planner and you like to lay things out for the year, having some dies that really allow you to kind of add your personal touch to your planner. Well, that's what this is all about. This is a side order called Noted. And what it has is it has two base shapes to start out with. We've got this shield that you can see here, just put on a, a gift tag. And there's this other base design. And these are nice because these could be journaling cards or journaling tags, or as you see here, just a foundation on anything gift related. But when it comes to a planner, like I mentioned, take a look at here. You can take these elements use it as an anchor, use it as a title page, add your favorite die cuts. But in addition to these anchor pieces, we also have all of these little tabs. So I'm just gonna start opening this up and show you uh, these little 
cool clip tabs that come with it. So you see these clips on the side of this planner? These are done from the die. These are out of paper. So you can die cut your own little fasteners, your own little clips, and you can slide it onto your pages, you can slide it onto your photos, you can ink them, you can stamp them. There's so much fun, and if you take a look inside here, we've got that stitch slots. You can also just use them as accents, whether you're gonna put them on photographs or again, that little note card that just slides out. Really, really fun set, especially for your sidekick, because after all, it's a side order. Now, speaking of side orders, we have some cute little critters that we're going to really have for springtime, which I think are so fun. So let me introduce you to these guys. Take a look at this one. These critters, again, because it's a side order, all of the dies have all their components on an individual die. So when you're gonna cut out this little rabbit, all the pieces are on the same die for this. And of course, it works in your sidekick, as well as your big shot and vagabond. But take a look at that little bunny. How cute is that? Just making a perfect little tag. You've got a great little duck. Now, these are great not only for springtime and Easter, but also for baby showers, birthday parties. I just think these critters have so much personality. Take a look at the sheep. I love just the whole layer on there. How great is that? Just adding a little glitter on there just to give it a little sparkle. And then of course there's also, well, that little pig there. And these are really nice because you can see that they also work as a great center for a paper rosette. Really fun. Just so many different ideas, of course, for the dies in chapter one. Now, let me jump back over here. I'm gonna bring this in just to show you a little bit more of kind of a grungier side, but also getting in dimension because we're talking about steel rule dies. And I'm very, very excited about this one. This is called the Tattered Butterfly. And as I mentioned, it is a steel rule die, which means we can cut all sorts of thick things. But take a look at that tattered detail of this butterfly. Now, if you're a fan of the tattered floral, well, that was the inspiration when I designed this one. I wanted a butterfly that would allow me to not only layer some pieces, have that great organic tattered edge, but also these cutouts. That was very important and also very difficult to do with the steel rule die. But there again, Sizzix kind of pulls it out. So here we can see all of these layered cardstock, you can cut this in a single pass because you can cut multiple pieces of cardstock, stitch them down the center, and you've got a great, great card element. Or we can take a look at this because the nice thing about the Tattered Butterfly on this steel rule die is you actually get two sizes. And the two sizes allow you to either have two individual size butterflies or, as you see here, stack them on top of each other. And you can see that the cutouts allow you to see the image underneath. So when you're layering these butterflies, you can see it gives a really nice dimensional accent to your art piece. Very, very cool. That tatter butterfly, it's gonna be a favorite. You watch and see. Now, for springtime lovers, I also wanted to include another steel die that, I don't know, just brought back some childhood memories of just a cottontail bunny. I just think it's really cute. I love the long ears on this one. And again, because it's steel rule, we can cut things like fabric. Here we can take any type of corduroy or linen. I love the fact that it also has this bow that you can stitch on incorporate it with greenery or frames, just makes for a really great card. Take a look at this one as well. Again, you can take any of your fabric, put it on chipboard if you want, add that little element on this one, or if you really wanna have that soft kind of fuzzy look, take a look at this. Just taking it and cutting it out of a very soft flocked felt. Nice, right? Just, I love the feel of that, very cute. And I love that it's just paired with some metallic cardstock. Very cool. So whatever your vibe is for this one, even if you wanted to go a little bit more organic here by cutting out some burlap, I think that is always the benefit of having the steel rule die because you can cut out so many different surfaces and substrates. So right there, that's just a little taste of chapter one. Now, of course, there are still two more videos of this series, so be sure to check them out.